Hey guys, how's it going? It's Maverick here with another episode of ReZero Season 2 Part 2. So, uh, time is a bit short, but really there's not too much to recap, right? Amelia is out, so let's see what Rosewell has to say about this situation here, um, and how his battle with Subaru is going to play out. Now, I'm assuming before we get to the end of it, we'll, st we'll also learn everything that's happened in the past. Uh, you know, we still haven't got to the final story, the final conclusion between what happened to, uh, Roswell and, you know, Ruzu and Beatrice and of course most importantly Ekidona and whatnot so uh perhaps this episode perhaps the next one let's get right into it all right let's begin in three two one play I mean, I think that's kind of uh, obvious. <laughs> I don't know why, but I've always assumed that he could go. It's just that... His heart was holding him back, but all right. So actually, is this night the night of the attack? Really? <laughs> That's the Lionheart we know? All right. I was trying to keep track of the time, but honestly, after all these episodes, it's... Okay, okay. Huh? Didn't Emilia already meet Ram? Huh? Okay. Well, didn't Emilia already come out last episode? Question mark? Alright. And hey, is this going to be the episode where we get both an opening and an ending? Hmm. Place your bets now, people. Hmm. Looks like there's a lot of interest. Ooh. A long shot.
It's full English, right? <laughs> I mean, I, I only have a recollection of it, like, once. Or twice. Once? Honestly, I can't remember. Ah, okay. There we go. So even Ekidena says that she thinks she'll pass, she still has to do it. All right. Harsh much ram. <laughs> So what do you want to ask for? A Roswell? Yeah, I figured. Really? Okay. Well, I mean, there's no real reason why Emilia would say no. Hello.
Oof. I mean, even if that were true, the result is still positive, though. I mean, so? Question mark? Wait, does Rosa think that what the... Huh. I mean, I had thought that if the two of them really thought... If Rosa truly thought that he and Subaru were similar, then he would also know that Subaru only, uh... Because it's his ideals, right? So of course he's gonna believe that's the Emilia. She is. All right, what are you going to do? But I am going to stop you. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't hurt to try, dude. <laughs> You've already tried for 400 years, why can't you try for some more? What, Russ is gonna stand there?
What did you come here for, Roselle? <laughs> like, seriously, I have no idea what he's trying to do. Yep, this is like quite a few episodes back, right? Okay. I want. <laughs> Good timing, eh? Ironic. <laughs> I have no idea what they are trying to do here. <laughs> huh. 
Oh, so that's why it snowed back then? Why is it the witches? <laughs> and why are you here, Pi? <laughs> and are your memories back? And is it a good idea to be fighting at near that crystal? back and Elsa is there, isn't she? Dun -dun. Hello, it's been a while, Elsa. <laughs> Let me guess. Help is gonna come through the window. Who are you working for, Elsa? Even at this point, I still don't understand that. Like, even though Roswell said that, you know, he pulled strings to allow this, but... Again, I don't exactly think that Elsa is aligned with him. Oh, but there's another little girl over there, right?
and Subaru 2 to rescue. Uh, of course you are. <laughs> Her brother! <laughs> eh. Elsa is really being nice, isn't she? She's just waiting there. <laughs> Union of Roars. Hi, Beatrice. Uh, all right, see you guys after this. Well, okay, that was something, right? I'm not, I'm still not quite sure how I'm, I should feel about the episode, but it certainly was nice to see Elsa make her reappearance, right? I do enjoy a good antagonist here, uh, and Elsa, hey, she's hot, she's uh, powerful, she's uh, enemy, she's an enemy to be feared, and so you know, I could use a good battle right now, especially against someone who you know you don't really have to feel pity or feel regret for, right? Because you know, even people like like Roswell and and, and Garfield and all that, we we clearly see that they have their own problems, right? Um, and and especially since we're going through so much stuff about the past, uh, even if uh, Roswell and Subaru were going to really start duping it out or something, I don't know. It, it just it's it's just not what I would call a clean fight here, right? Now, don't get me wrong, Elsa. Maybe eventually, sometime later on down the road, we'll get some backstory about her as well. But at least for the time being. I'm sure nobody is going to be too uh, um, too unhappy if Elsa gets beaten up, right? <laughs> Especially since she herself also seems to enjoy being on the verge of death as well. So hey, it's a win-win situation for everyone. Just you know, give us some good battles, good fight scenes, good battle scenes against Elsa, and that would be hype. And of course, you know the entire Beatrice thing. Uh, I think 
I'm no surprise there. I do think that convincing Beatrice is probably one of the pieces of the puzzle to to ending this entire arc finally. Um, perhaps in terms of convincing Roswell as well, especially since Beatrice is also uh, the the student or heck the daughter of of their teacher Akidona, right? So um, she's definitely going to be a very important piece of trying to convince Roswell as well, who at this point in time is still the big bad enemy, right? Um, once once they all convince him, and then, you know, everything will finally be okay once again. Uh, and speaking of Roswell, though, so I still have no idea what exactly he wants to do, what, he, what exactly he is thinking, even after all these episodes, right? You would think... You would think that his biggest wish is to, I don't know, release Echidona, restore her to her former powers, or something of that nature, right? And yet, I still don't see how anything that he's doing right now has anything to do with helping Echidona, right? And more to the point, like, why is Echidona not able to... Like, he clearly... Um, they're talking about the witch's delusions, right? And they're, and Roswell is clearly doing some pretty radical things all in the name of Echidona. But somehow, I feel like this is not what Echidona wants at either, right? So perhaps his thinking is corrupted. Part of the flashbacks that we've seen before, similar to what happened to Gias and whatnot, um, you know, the, the influence of some other witches or some other powers is corrupting him, and that's turning into the so-called delusions right now, right? So when Rem, uh, sorry, when Ram is mentioning uh, the witch's delusions, I have to wonder whether that's actually referring to Echidona or perhaps some other witch, right? Because, again, I don't feel that this is what Echidona uh, particularly wants or anything. I'm sure that she would like to be, be revived or restored to power or released or whatever the heck that is. But, um... Oh, through, through this kind of manner? I don't know. It's, because if that were the case, why would she actively try to help Subaru and, um, and or Amelia? Well, help, right? Uh, and, and so on and so forth, right? So, yeah, it, it's definitely leaving a lot of question marks to me. I have no idea what's, what Rosewell is trying to do here. Um, we do know that, uh, he's clearly not, he's clearly quite stubborn and not thinking quite straight. Um, because, you know, what he was saying to Emilia this episode, Subaru already gave him the answer last episode, and clearly, you know, I, 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 I do actually agree to an extent, and certainly Subaru agrees as well that Subaru and Roswell are quite alike in many, many, many ways, right? But, you know, Subaru himself has already said the difference. The difference between you and, you and me is, uh, or you and I, is that I believe that people can overcome, overcome, uh, stuff, and, and truly make it while you are believing that they can never overcome their their fears their weaknesses and so on and so forth right he already told you the answer and yet clearly Roswell still does not understand this because otherwise he would not be um thinking that uh Subaru is only telling those stuff to Emilia because um he he's trying to tell a lie in order to motivate her or something like that right so uh, i think that's the and that was part of what confused me in at that scene as well i was thinking like wait what um uh, is that's that's not quite right right um so uh how can i put it even though Superguru certainly forces his ideals on on others as well and on the woman he loves but he he forces it because he truly believes in it right just as Roosevelt truly believes in what he believes in as well and you know he's clearly not listening to Subaru that's all I can say so we wouldn't have needed to have that entire conversation there uh which really resulted to nothing in the end nothing we, we really learned nothing right so um, that was like a good um so that's why I said I don't know how to feel about this episode that was basically just us looking at Rosa and being like, well, you certainly didn't listen. If you could have listened to Subaru, hey, we could have saved like 10 minutes, right? Uh, and, you know, if you want to still be stubborn and, and say that your method is correct, then sure, fine. But uh, you got to understand your enemy as well, right? And clearly, he does not. And that's probably what's going to cause him to fail at the very end here. So uh, beyond that, and, and this entire situation with Ram and and, um, and Roswell as well, that's also kind of, 
you know, still not sure what to think about all that. Uh, I am glad that Ram is finally getting some more screen time and, and a proper backstory to her as well, right? Because she's actually one of uh, my, uh, the more interesting characters to me. I do love her personality, the way that she's always so sarcastic and, and treating her with scorn, but secretly still, um, you know, she, she does the right things. She does, she has her own sense of justice and what is right and wrong, right? And she definitely does that with no complaints. Um, so it, it's nice to see her, um, you know, what she's trying to do as well. The one thing that I am kind of curious about, though, is how exactly did Otto and the others figure out what, uh, what Ram's true goals were, or how did they believe that she could be convinced in the first place, right? Or perhaps they, they didn't, right? Perhaps they didn't. Perhaps it was just, as Natsuki said, just because uh, Subaru did not want to make an enemy of Ram, so they just, you know, took a shot in the dark, and, you know, miraculously, it actually worked, right? Uh, and potentially, Ram might have told w w what she's trying to do to Otto, but based on the dialogue there, uh, probably Otto has not told Subaru yet. Well, maybe, maybe not. I kind of feel that Otto doesn't own any allegiance to Ram, right? If I were to make a guess, I would instead say that Otto probably told Subaru at the first opportunity he could. But we'll see about that, right? Uh, but it, it was just curious to me because certainly um, I don't think any other character could have uh, could have told us you know, what exactly Ram's biggest wish were. You would have thought that it had something to do with Rem instead. Well, I guess technically, technically it could still be. Right, because uh, after all, this is the timeline, or this is the timeline where she has no memories of Rem. Right, so you know, barring that, we have her first priority would obviously be be Roswell instead. I guess you know we can we can make that sort of um that sort of judgment or conclusion as of right now. Now potentially, you know, what exactly weighs more? I would still personally think that it's going to be Rem. Right, but. Hey, who knows? That's definitely another thing to think about and chew on. So, anyways, um, that's it for this episode. Um, I'm again, I'm really looking forward to seeing next episode to see some good fights between Elsa and the others. Um, you know, we still got an a, a hidden enemy as well. We, probably Beatrice is going to turn the tides as well and um, go up against Elsa and whatnot. And then, you know, after everything at the mansion is finished. Maybe we can get the whole gang back to the sanctuary and finally, finally end this freaking arc already. Like, it has been so damn long. Alright, so anyways, that, that is it for this episode. Thank you guys. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.